Okay, it's time now to add a header to our application. So I'm going to directly go to my components and I'm going to add a header.tsx. So me, I'm using my own snippets. So here basically on your snippets, what you can do is to add your own configuration to see your code. And I got a snippet that I called ncomp. And every time I type ncomp, look at this code, I'm going to uh, just add directly this template here with the name of the file. So this is a, a classic configuration of VS Code that helps you to go faster. So I'm going to go here and if you look at what I'm going to write and comp here, we can see that we uh, created this GSX component with header coming from header.tsx. So this is the, the first tip that I'm giving you now. Now, another tip is that there is a ChatCN UI uh, here uh, package for VS Code that we can use created by Suel Macad that helps us to actually directly uh, download. Here we can see on the little presentation here, we can see that we can directly download from um, uh, VS Code the components from ChatCN. So I'm going to click on install and I'm going to use it and now we should be good. And now what I can do here is to type here, so command P here, and I can type chatcn UI, add a new component. So if I type here, I can see that I get everything that can comes from the website. It's exactly the same as doing it into the terminal. Okay, so here I don't need it right now <laughs> because I already got the command uh, that I want to use. So we got this header, so I'm going to type hello header and I'm going to come back here and inside my main, I would like to put my header directly from the components header. So when I come back, I got my header. So here basically it's going to be the same as sidebar. So I got my sidebar, which is down here. We can see that I got some elements. So I'm just going to copy paste this directly into my header. And what I want to do is to give him some shape. So I'm going to type here flex. I don't want to have a flex call and I don't want to have a specific height or width, but I would like him to have some space. So I got my hello header here. And what I want to do is to come back to my main page, which we got in here. I'm going to type home page down here and then we should be good. Okay. And here on my header, I would like to have a border on the bottom. So remember, we would like to have the border on the bottom. But the thing is that here we can see that we've got the home page at the bottom and the sidebar is moving. Yeah, there is an overflow. So what I would like to do basically is to have my sidebar fixed. So if I go to sidebar here and I type fixed in here, what's going to happen is that it's going to be fixed but the content is going to actually be on totally on the left. So I need to move the home page from 300 pixels. But the thing is that after we're going to have trouble in uh, responsive design. So we are going to come back to it after. So what I can do is to type here PL, so padding left, 300 pixels, which is exactly the size of my sidebar. And we can see that suddenly I can scroll here, but the sidebar doesn't move. This is exactly what I want. Okay, so I got my hello header. We can see here that I got with full, eight full. Here, what I can use, and I'm not going to use flex all the time because I want to show you a lot of things, is to use the grid. So if I use the grid here, I'm going to have here my hello header, which is down here. And we've got my element here. So I'm going to look at this and remove here my min eight and my border and my gap, I'm going to let it for now. And we've got our header. However, the header, we would like it to be fixed also. Probably we are going to do it after. First, we are going to come back in here. Okay, so remember, we've got this command bar, which is really sexy. So let's come back to the top. We can see that we've got this search bar with everything down here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to probably use the whole code that we've got in here. So we can see here that if I press G, I got this as a dialogue, which is really sexy. This is not necessarily that would, that I, something that I would like to have. Here I got this full command bar demo. So I'm going just to copy paste this whole command bar demo and just 
going to come back to it in here and I would like to do something specific, okay? I'm going to keep this code here, but later I would like to come back to it. So I'm not going to insert this command down here. I'm going to use it directly as my own component, so as a command.tsx. And if I put command.tsx as a name, it's for you to continue to follow. So we've got everything in here. So now I can close and just have the elements that I want. I got my header and I'm going to use command coming from where? Coming from command demo. There we go. And when I come back to my app, I got suddenly the search bar that is taking the whole stuff and I got the options down here. And if I type calendar, I arrive to calendar and stuff. Of course, you understood that I don't want to use this. I'm just going to use the command bar as a demo. So what I'm going to do here is just to come here. And the comment list, I'm not going to display it. Actually, I'm going to display it only, okay, if it's open. Okay, so I'm going to type this open and there we go. And here I need to create an open set open, which will be a user state as a Boolean, and it's going to be on false by default. So I got to be careful because here it's a client component. So I need to use use client on the top. And when I come back, I got this beautiful sidebar, which is here. However, it's too big and there is some shadow. We will need to come back on the design after. So here, what I want to use it's not flex, it's grid. And I'm going to use grid and I'm only going to use grid calls too. And when I come back, I get the bar that is taking all this space. And on this one, I'm going to uh, use another space in here to add something else. And I think what I would like to add up here is probably a notification icon. So if I come back here, to the button that we already created, we can see that we've got the option here, button with icon. So if I click on button with icon, we've got this down here, login, etc., etc., and we've got this element in here, and we can see that I got a simple button, and this simple button is going to be for notification, so exactly as we got here. So I'm going to come back in here, I'm going to use button, and here instead I'm going to use bell. So here I got several icons. I'm going to use bell icon for instance. And when I come back here, we can see that I got this beautiful icon in here. So I'm going to use here class, flex, item center, and justify end for now. We are going to stay on this. And later when I will be able to work on that, I'm going to come back on this. Okay, so now, I'm going to add a lot of text and I would like to have uh, uh, um, up here is probably to have some design that are corresponding on the left and on the right. And also I would like to remove, I would like to remove here um, the shadow because I got up here this notification bell and probably I'm going to add some other elements later. But it has to have some coherence on the style. All right, so what we would like to do is probably to put the command bar here with less shadow. So what I can do is to come back here on my command demo, and I guess it's going to be here on shadow MD. We can see that I can remove my shadow MD, and suddenly we've got this. And suddenly it looks way better. We can see that we've got here our uh, search bar that doesn't do anything for now. And we've got up here this notification. Now we would like to have some drop down. That's what we're going to do in the next lesson.